Magnesium is the 11th most abundant mineral in the human body, and it controls more than 300 bodily functions, along with hundreds of enzyme reactions. Now, most people associate the mineral only with bone and heart health, but it's so much more than just that. You see, magnesium is also the primary electrolyte that's used by virtually all of the body's enzymes. It maintains fluid balance, it gives energy to the cells through ATP, it activates creatine, improves sleep quality, and increases the amount of bioactive or free testosterone that's available. All of that's awesome, but the one thing that I'm most interested in is is the last one, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. We're gonna look at magnesium increasing free testosterone levels. All the information in today's video, plus much more, can be found in my book, Master Your Tea. Visit MasterYourTea.com for a free digital download of the book. $20 in value, absolutely free for you. Let's look at magnesium and the relationship with testosterone. So magnesium is super similar to zinc when it comes to increasing testosterone levels. Deficiency in both of these will seriously lower your T levels, but if you're already having um, adequate amounts of these minerals in your system, then megadosing with them is not gonna do a whole lot for your hormones. And this is where it all boils down to, do you actually need more magnesium? Now, research suggests that you probably do, as this study right here shows that nearly 70% of adults in the US eat below the recommended amount of magnesium that they should be eating, 19% eating less than half of the recommended daily amount. On top of that, magnesium evaporates from the body through sweat. So if you're hitting the gym or living in a very hot place where you sweat a lot, then it's very likely you're not consuming enough of this essentially important mineral, especially if your eating habits are really based around like a standard Western diet. Let's look at, at some studies that are related to testosterone and magnesium. So this in vitro study right here found out that magnesium frees bound testosterone and makes it more bioactive. This happens because the mineral inhibits SHBG, which is a molecule that binds to free testosterone, making it unavailable for the receptors. Now in this human study right here, roughly one gram of magnesium was enough to increase free testosterone levels by 24% in combination with intense exercise. In this study, we had 400 participants and the researchers found out that in older guys, higher serum magnesium levels correlate with higher testosterone. Now the researchers in this review study found out that there was something very similar between magnesium and all the studies that we just talked about. What they write is that there's evidence that magnesium exerts a positive influence on anabolic hormonal status, including testosterone in men. In this study right here, researchers found out that Gittleman syndrome, which causes an imbalance in magnesium and calcium levels, often leads to delayed puberty in young boys. Because of this delayed puberty, there's actually low testosterone levels, and the low T is caused by low magnesium and calcium. So all in all, it seems that there's a, a definitely a point in supplementing with magnesium, especially if you're exercising. However, if you sit on the couch all day, and you've already consumed a lot of magnesium, then it's likely that extra supplementation isn't gonna do you much good, but you shouldn't be sitting on the couch all day anyway. So what's the best form of magnesium to supplement with? I think it's magnesium glycinate because it's a great form of oral magnesium. It's good to absorb, uh, whereas oxide is the worst. Citrate's actually good for absorption, but in high amounts can lead to a laxative effect in your body. A lot of magnesium-rich foods are actually not that great for testosterone levels. There's things like soybeans, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, peppermints, and anything like that is actually gonna end up reducing your T levels, even though it contains magnesium. And especially in nuts, you can't actually even get access to a lot of the minerals in the nuts. So here are a couple foods that you can eat that are high in magnesium that are gonna support your testosterone levels naturally. So the first one is dark chocolate or cacao products. So the cacao bean in its unprocessed state is one of the richest known dietary sources of magnesium. This makes raw cacao powder and any other uh, products that are made using the cacao actually a great food to replenish bodily magnesium levels. 100 grams of cacao powder has 520 milligrams of magnesium, which is 130% uh, percent of the recommended daily amount. So next up on the list is some good grass-fed beef. So animal meat, especially beef, is a great source of magnesium. It's not as dense in the mineral as cacao beans are, but 100 grams of beef will give you about a pretty decent 50 milligrams of magnesium. So if you're interested in learning more about how to naturally increase your testosterone levels, uh, doing things like improving your magnesium, but also other micronutrients, supplements, nutrition, and lifestyle and training things, it's all here in Master Your Tea, and you can get this book for free right now at masteryourtea.com as a digital download. I'll also give you a $5 off coupon for Testro X, which is our Umzu natural testosterone support supplement. Works with your body to naturally increase your testosterone levels, and it contains magnesium glycinate. So if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you on the next video.